192 years ago, on May 31st, 1823, at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon, a group of weary, bedraggled, elated Jesuits and Jesuits-to-be, two priests, three brothers, and seven novice scholastics, saw from the east bank of the Mississippi for the first time the place where they were going to, whether they wanted to come, their destination, the place that they simply called the West, the West. So this afternoon we're reopening a very significant and historic collection uh, of artwork and artifacts here. These artworks and artifacts mark our history, the history of the early Jesuit missionaries in the St. Louis area. Some of those very Jesuits that we are honor honoring and celebrating today uh, were the Jesuits who founded the school that is now St. Louis University. Uh, others served as missionaries throughout the West, and this collection really uh, gives you some sense of what frontier life was like back in those days. Museums, I think, are places of memory. Uh, they tell us a little, they tell us stories. They tell us stories about people. They tell us stories about places, about events. Uh, they tell us a story about works. Uh, so when I walk around the museum, uh, whether it's with a group of students uh, or it's uh, on an occasion like this, uh, and I see a monstrance or I see a, uh, I see a chalice or a ciborium, uh, what immediately comes to mind is the story of the person either who gifted it uh, or the story of the person who was in some ways connected to the, to the chalice. The Smet and the original Jesuits and the ones that followed on them are here because in one sense of what you see in these cases especially, the monstrances, the chalices, the patents and so on, for the worship of the Lord, for the service of Jesus Christ, for the preaching of the gospel. That's what it all started with. I hope that's what it continues with. And I hope you see in this museum, not just theology by any means, that can be terribly boring, but you can see history. Don't have the theologians laugh. Uh, but you can also see especially the history and you can see the lived history as it was portrayed not only in words and in deeds, but in things, great things. I think the thing that, that, that most impresses me about this space is, the, uh, is that it's an opportunity to see material culture uh, and to see things in a new light rather than just simply relying on, on textual representations. Uh, we're indebted to Father Desmet and the other Jesuits who were true pioneers in the 1880s. Uh, their devotion to God, their courage, their care for others live on today in the collection that we have here on the third floor of our museum. In fact, if not for them, we would not be standing here now. Because of them and the many hundreds of Jesuits who followed, including those who are here today, St. Louis University is recognized as one of the finest Jesuit, one of the finest Catholic, one of the finest research universities in our nation.